Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and I'm here with my co-host, Elara Skye. Today, we're examining a silent but persistent threat, microplastics that end up lodged deep in our lungs. We'll unpack new research, health implications, and practical ways to reduce exposure, all in a clear, straightforward discussion. Thanks, Ethan. Microplastics are plastic fragments smaller than 5 millimeters. They form when larger plastic items, like packaging, textiles, tires, and industrial coatings, break down through heat, friction, or wear. Because they don't biodegrade, they spread throughout air, water, and soil and their small size allows them to bypass the body's defenses and accumulate in tissues. A 2025 study in the Journal of Hazardous Materials analyzed lung tissue from 51 bird species near Chengdu, Tianfu International Airport in China. Researchers found plastic particles in every single bird. On average, each bird's lungs contained about 221 particles, translating to roughly 416 particles per gram of lung tissue. That's a striking discovery. It is. The team identified more than 11,000 particles overall and 32 distinct plastic types. Chlorinated polyethylene and butadian rubber, commonly used in packaging, cables, and tires, were most prevalent. Particles were typically films or pellets measuring 20 to 50 microns, small enough to travel deeply into respiratory passages. Certain birds fared worse. Land-dwelling and carnivorous species as well as larger birds like the gray heron had higher loads, over 1,400 particles in a single heron. Researchers also detected nanoplastics under one micron in several species, confirming that even smaller fragments enter lung tissue. The study ranked these plastics using the polymer hazard index. Most bird samples reached level three or four, indicating significant ecological risk. Because birds serve as environmental sentinels, their contamination suggests humans are equally, if not more, exposed, especially in densely populated or industrial areas. That brings us to human data. A 2022 investigation in the science of the total environment examined lung samples from patients undergoing surgery in the UK microplastics appeared in 11 of 13 samples. The lower lung lobes held the most, averaging just over three particles per gram of tissue. Twelve plastic types were identified with polypropylene and polyethylene terephthalate, better known as PET, leading the list. Particles varied from 12 microns to more than 2.5 millimeters in length. Importantly, plastics were present in upper, middle, and lower lung regions, showing their ability to disperse throughout the respiratory system. Knowing that microplastics reach deep lung tissue, what are the main biological consequences for humans? There are five key areas. First, hormone disruption. Many plastics carry endocrine-disrupting chemicals, such as phthalates and BPA. These compounds mimic or block natural hormones by binding to estrogen and androgen receptors, altering metabolism, fertility, mood, and thyroid function. Endocrine disruption sounds abstract to many listeners. Could you clarify how these chemicals create problems inside the body? Certainly. When endocrine disruptors combine with natural estrogen, they can trigger estrogen overload. That overstimulation initiates signaling cascades that disturb cellular growth, reproductive cycles, and metabolic regulation. Over time, this imbalance increases risks for conditions like infertility and hormone-responsive cancers. Moving beyond hormones, inflammation is another concern. What does the evidence show? The immune system treats plastic fragments as foreign invaders. When particles lodge in tissues, they set off chronic inflammatory responses. Studies demonstrate elevated immune markers and persistent low-grade inflammation, which contributes to autoimmune issues and accelerates many chronic diseases. We also hear about oxidative stress and mitochondrial damage linked to microplastics. How does that unfold? Microplastics elevate reactive oxygen species, free radicals that damage DNA, proteins, and cell membranes. Mitochondria are especially vulnerable. When their function declines, cellular energy drops, impairing metabolism, cognitive performance, and recovery from stress or injury. Some particles are even smaller, nanoplastics. They can cross critical barriers, correct? Yes. 
Nanoplastics penetrate the placenta and the blood-brain barrier. That means fetal tissues and the central nervous system are exposed. Potential consequences include developmental disruptions and neurological effects. For anyone pregnant or planning pregnancy, minimizing exposure is essential. Let's shift to solutions. What should listeners do first to cut down on microplastic exposure? Step 1. Switch to reusable fabric or canvas bags instead of plastic. This single change reduces hundreds of disposable bags annually, lowering plastic debris that eventually fragments into microplastics. Step 2 concerns food storage. Why is glass or stainless steel preferable to plastic containers? Plastic containers degrade, especially when heated in microwaves or dishwashers, releasing microplastic fragments and chemical residues into food and indoor air. Glass jars, Pyrex dishes, stainless steel, or beeswax wraps eliminate that source. Third, single-use plastics, straws, cutlery, water bottles, seem minor but add up. What's your advice? Carry your own metal utensils and a stainless water bottle. Refuse disposables whenever possible. Beyond obvious items, replace plastic kitchenware like spatulas and cutting boards, which shed microplastics through abrasion. Fourth, many household products are plastic-based. Which items deserve priority when replacing them? Focus on high-contact items. Choose natural fiber bedding, wooden or bamboo kitchen tools, and furniture without polyurethane foam. Synthetic rugs and plastic-coated curtains also release airborne particles, so opt for wool, cotton, or other natural materials when feasible. Fifth, indoor air quality often gets overlooked. What practices capture airborne microplastics? Ventilate by opening windows, vacuum with a HEPA filter unit, and dust surfaces regularly. Install an air purifier equipped with a true HEPA filter, especially if you live near traffic or use synthetic fabrics and furnishings indoors. Earlier you mentioned estrogen dominance from plastic-derived chemicals. Some listeners ask whether supplemental progesterone can help balance excess estrogen. What does the research suggest? Progesterone acts as a natural estrogen antagonist. When indicated and supervised by a qualified professional, it may counter adverse effects of estrogen overload. Dr. Mercola often highlights progesterone, DHEA, and pregnenolone as hormones many adults could benefit from, but individual needs vary, so professional guidance remains important. To summarize, microplastics are pervasive, entering lungs of birds and humans alike. They disrupt hormones, spark inflammation, generate oxidative stress, harm gut integrity, and can reach protected organs. Yet, practical steps, reusable bags, non-plastic food storage, elimination of single-use items, natural home materials, and improved air filtration, meaningfully lower exposure. Absolutely. Reducing daily plastic use not only protects personal health, but also limits environmental contamination. Each small change compounds over time, decreasing the overall plastic burden we, and future generations, face. That concludes this episode of Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We appreciate you joining us as we explored the impact of microplastics on respiratory and systemic health and offered actionable strategies to safeguard your wellness. Thank you for listening. Stay informed, take thoughtful steps to minimize exposure, and join us next time for more direct, research-based insights into cellular health. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.